Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for this opportunity to talk about something that for me is so critical, health. And let me start by telling you that there are several words, numbers, and colors that are missing in all the climate change negotiations and debates. Let me tell you which ones. The words that we are missing, asthma, chronic obstructive respiratory diseases, lung cancer, stroke, ischemic heart diseases. Those are the words that should be there from the beginning, and unfortunately, there are not. And that's why maybe we are not advancing as much as we would like to. So please, we need to start to incorporate those words because those are the ones that will be very uh, important for the people. They will motivate action and they will probably engage much more than uh, other uh, type of narrative that we are using. Second, figures that we are missing. Of course, on the climate change negotiations, it's all about figures and cost and everything, but we are missing a critical figure. Seven million deaths. Seven million deaths caused by exposure to air pollution. What a coincidence. When you look at the causes of the air pollution and the causes of climate change, there is a fantastic overlap. And the sectors responsible for the climate change, the green gases emissions, uh, green gas emissions, it are very much overlapping with the causes of air pollution. So, please, let's accelerate action in the name of those 7 million deaths caused by uh, 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 exposure to air pollution. Bring that number to the negotiations. The third one is color. Which color are we missing? Pink and gray. And you know why? Not pink because the feminine approach or gender or whatever, no. Pink because our normal lungs, the, the healthy ones, are pink. But when you look at the, the, the lungs of children or teenagers in New Delhi, in many places around the world, in Beijing, in many other places, they look totally gray. They are 13 years old, they never smoke, and they look like an 80 years old gentleman who smoked three packages of cigarettes a day. This is the reality, so please, if we don't have action because we have to negotiate, because there are economic reasons, do it on the name of that pink and gray uh, uh, line. Cost is another thing that is not incorporated there. Yes, I know that on the climate negotiations, you talk a lot about the cost, the investments, the, the, the trades off and everything, but you are not taking into consideration that health effects of exposure to air pollution and climate change is costing us billions. The taxpayers are paying billions, your taxpayers, everybody's taxpayers, because we need to fill those hospitals, we need to treat those patients. Those are chronic respiratory diseases, chronic diseases that are affecting all of us, including our intelligence and IQ, because children exposed to air pollution will be affected by that. And that generates an incredible cost for our health system, for our society, and of course, the well-being of the people we are treating. So let me now, since I am a medical doctor, I think by now you all have uh, understand that I am a medical doctor, let me tell you what is my recipe for ambition, for acceleration, what is my prescription for health. One, on all the climate change negotiation, discussions, Talanoa groups, whatever, Please make sure that near to the image of the planet, the lovely planet that we always use, put a couple of lungs, okay? <laughs> okay? Anytime you have a little planet or a little polar bear, put as well a couple of lungs, <laughs> okay? If possible, you can put one pink, one gray. I have plenty of images. I can pass it those to you. <laughs> you can use it. Feel free, doubly choice, using it for free. No intellectual protection, right? So <laughs> use it. This is one. Second, please make to the museum, make to the past, make fossil the fossil fuels. I mean, coal, coal is killing us. Uh, and here is my story, Prime Minister. I grew up in Asturias, in a place in Spain where we had some economic development because, that was the argument, because the mining and because the coal and uh, believe me, people were sick. And when I started my career as a medical doctor, the first thing I did it was to go to the hospital to collect the horrible sputum of the patients, 40 years old, with their lungs 
horrible with this very black, I don't want to describe it, but it was very um, disgusting. Anyway, they were sick and they were very, very young because of they were inhaling all of this coal every day. Make those fossil fuels fossils and a fossil idea. Let's accelerate this energy transition in the name of health. Let's make a healthy energy transition. The benefits of moving into transitioning into a healthy energy source will be amazing on the economy, of course, on development, but on the health of the people. And this is something that will move mountains. If you pass the right message to your population, if you start to use the health arguments, forget about climate change. Tell them that this is about a better, more sustainable transport system that will allow a less sedentary lifestyle and therefore less chronic diseases, less diabetes, less sedentary lifestyle and obesity and all the, the, the metabolic uh, uh, syndrome related diseases. Tell your people that they will breathe better air, better quality of the air, and therefore they will reduce asthma. Moms will be mobilized for that. They will move mountains as well. And tell people that this is interesting for your economy as well. So my anecdote will be that I don't want anymore to be able to tell anyone that if they are working at the healthcare facility in Africa, as I did, or in other countries and on, on developing phase, I was using a kerosene lamp to take care of my patients during the night because electricity was not available, while in Africa the sun was certainly there. So I don't want to see any more a young doctor taking care of patients with a kerosene lamp, which will be a, a, an incredible bad thing for, the, for the, the health of the people. So do more, less accelerate on the name of the health, and one day, hopefully, air pollution will be like tobacco, something that socially is not accepted. And uh, when a Marlboro guy was saying, Bob, I'm a cowboy, and he was so fashion, <laughs> WHO did something else. WHO says, Bob, I got cancer. And that was less glamorous. Soon, we will be doing the same with the fossil fuels. Fossil fuels kills people, and this has to stop. Thank you very much.